tell you what, it's a cool thing when you know that you're going in the right direction. When you start running into people that are doing similar things at a, at a higher level than you are currently. So it looks like we're, we're going in the right direction. I didn't want to like it, but now I'm loving every day. I'm going mad, I'm going crazy. I want my flowers, I want my daisies. Yeah, I look good, so does my lady. They try to copy, but can't imitate me. She want to talk, she want relations. Money don't stop, we ain't separated. If I had a How are y'all doing? It's Aaron Alanis, host of the Take Your Shit Together Man podcast and CEO and founder of Basics. We are the world's number one elite fitness and nutrition coaching company for ambitious men all over the world that are looking to build their best body ever within only 16 weeks. To find out more information to see for how you qualify to work one-on-one -on -one with our team, please visit www.basicsbrigade.com. Or if you want to speak with me directly, use one of the links below. It's If it's on, uh, well, obviously it's on YouTube. Use the second link below, below the subscribe button, and we'll get you on, on a call so we can take, figure out if you'd be a good fit for us. I'm actually gonna be taking a flight to North Carolina. You know, I'm gonna go train one of our clients named Ryan Barker. Shout out to Ryan. Truth, truth be told, man, I ended up actually traveling out to Dallas a couple weekends ago. I'll, I'll put some, some montages here as I'm speaking to you and I'm speaking to you and it's showing and now you're like, damn, Aaron, you're so cool. I wish I want to be like you or I wish I could be like you. I'm just going to keep on talking. Let the footage play a little bit. Let the footage play a little bit and boom now we're back okay so here's what ended up happening i ended up making a cool little trip out to dallas for a networking event a couple of weekends ago and uh long story short i kind of realized man you kind of coop yourself up down here in edinburgh texas a little bit too much uh the world has been opening them up to me in in, in in amazing ways lately so what i want to do is i want to make sure because honestly man i wish i would have filmed like a vlog or some kind of thing piece of content when i was in dallas it was one that it was just incredible but thankfully this one will will be even better i think for sure so today i'm going to be showing you all um the kind of the process i haven't flown by myself as an adult ever I mean, the flight's starting in like just over an hour so hopefully we'll be cool and uh love you all very much <laughs> i don't know they say the grass always greener on the side that they don't show i realize if it shines don't always mean it's gold What's up guys, I'm over here in Houston, Texas, and uh, I ended up running into this dude here. I'm gonna put his name on the screen because I don't wanna be that person that's like fanning out too crazy, but I gotta tell you what, long story short, I was wearing this navy, not navy blue, like a baby blue polo, right? So I ended up running into this dude, and I was like, man, I was wearing my basic shirt up until that point. I stopped by this place here in the airport, and then for whatever reason, I decided to get a different kind of shirt. Ran into the dude, I could have put my freaking logo, in front of the dude's face not on anything crazy but just for like quantum physics you know what i mean put in front of the right people and i changed my shirt <laughs> so lesson learned there but long story short all i did was just say hey what's up dude i'm a fan looked around and uh just went from there in a couple years people are gonna be doing that to me so i just want to be super super courteous of the dude's time energy and uh everything else didn't fan out too crazy but i'll tell you what it's a cool thing when you know that you're going in the right direction when you start running into people that are doing similar things at a, at a higher level than you are currently. So it looks like we're, we're going in the right direction. Life, praying for my people every night. Cause some of us won't make it out alive. I told them I would never compromise. So I've been going harder every time. Now they know it's us. I was counted out, now I'm counting up. So this is day one of our personal training sessions that we ended up knocking out for Ryan. He's a freaking stud right here. We're just warming up with some lateral raises with the easy curl bar. It allows for more stabilization on the, the lateral deltoid. And it's a cool little thing that we've been doing lately for myself personally and all our clients. Right there, we were working on his bench press the way he was starting. After that, we were working about working on engaging his back a little bit more with some barbell rows. He was crushing it. Today, we ended up bought, we, on day number one, we ended up knocking out an upper body day. So we're, you're going to see some pushing movements. You're going to see some pulling movements. And we really just made sure that he was doing the right things, man. This 
man, I'm telling you, this guy was crushing it like no one else, man. I'll tell you what, there's a gym that we ended up going to. It was called Fitness Factory in North Carolina. And here we're doing like an AMRAP. So this is towards the end of like a little set that we were doing. Following that, we're finishing off with some triceps. We ended up, he ended up taking me to a park in North Carolina, in Charlotte. And that park was absolutely beautiful. Following that, this is day number two of our sessions. We ended up knocking out a lower body day. So right here, we're again, we're warming up our hamstrings with some lying leg curls. We ended up doing some squats and front back squats and front squats. I didn't end up getting those on camera, but this machine here was absolutely stellar. We had a counterweight instead of a, like a traditional barbell or a dumbbell. So it was absolutely just insane, man. It felt great on the hamstrings and I was definitely sore on my flight back. Day number three, we ended up knocking out a cool little pool session. We ended up doing like a deadlift mastery kind of thing for him. So we we're working on his form, making sure things were good. This is a good thing that I like doing for my clients in person. I'll just make sure that they're kind of launching off properly. And uh, obviously with the deadlift, the deadlift, we ended up having to dedicate an entire day to the deadlift form. Just because obviously with online personal training, there's only so much I can do because everything, as much as we do, it's just like there are certain roadblocks. But the great part about what we ended up doing for Ryan is that we worked something out to get him uh, some in-person sessions. So he has the benefits of both for uh for him personally man so he got spoiled rod in the, this weekend man it was a beautiful beautiful trip loved training him met his family and we got a whole bunch of cool uh, other things that ended up happening that i just didn't get to get on camera but overall man it was a beautiful trip he actually took me to um uh, when was it on saturday evening which i didn't catch on camera uptown took me out we ended up having some fun meeting some people and uh all right so awesome, you can awesome tell trip, i had man. amazing trip uh, forgot my razor, so I'm kind of I told my barber, man, should I should I keep it growing? He's like, bro, you look too good without without the facial hair, man. So you gotta keep it clean shaven. <laughs> so shout out to my man. But in short, right, what ended up happening is my first flight ended up getting delayed, and then what ended up happening, they're like, hey, man, you ended up missing your second flight by default because obviously when it comes down to going from Houston to McAllen, there was a flight, I missed it, and now I have to wait until noon tomorrow. And it's a, it's a crazy experience because at the end of the day, man, I had an amazing, amazing trip, saw some beautiful things, met some beautiful people. And now it's like, I got to humble myself and probably sleep in this airport, uh, <laughs> probably on the floor or something, man. I could definitely get a room, but if you won't know anything about my story, man, I used to sleep in a truck kind of thing. So it's like when moments like this happen, I, I embrace it, you know, no matter where I am, I'll make it. No matter what, what happened, I don't care if I got to sleep in the airport. I don't care if I got to sleep next to a trash can. I don't care if I got to sleep in my truck. At whatever stage that I get in, in my life, if something like that happens, I know that I can hack it because I was there at one point. So it's a beautiful little experience to be able to talk about. And uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do really is just obviously May, May 1st just started um, on Sunday. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan out the month of May. I think I'm going to buy a new camera. That way, as I'm doing these vlogs and a little bit more of these on YouTube, the content's a little bit of a higher quality, you know? So I've been speaking to some people and they were like, dude, it's cool that you you got your iPhone. It's a very casual look. But at the end of the day, man, you gotta be presenting your brand a little bit better. And I was like, yes, sir. Let's do what we gotta do. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I think that's, that's what we're gonna make happen. But you know, man, here's the thing, man. When it comes down to you building up your stuff and you building out your purpose and you building yourself as a man, Moments like this are gonna happen. You know, things never really go according to plan. You know, things never really go exactly according to your your itinerary or, or, or what you got going on. But what you can do is you can focus on being present and taking advantage of the situation. So for me, I am so inspired by some of the stuff that's been happening lately. The last four weeks have been absolutely insane. I'm shucking or shaking some beautiful hands, met some beautiful people, seen some beautiful places. And uh, we got even more places kind of on the itinerary of the future. So it's like being able to see all these things kind of happen before my own very eyes. It's just like, dude, this is insane kind of thing. So uh, I want to kind of plan out a little bit more. You know, I actually just ordered this camera right here. So I can't wait to do that. I might be sitting around editing this video right here and just, uh, just going from there, you know? So just understand that there's always, I, I think there's this quote that I can't quite remember and recall verbatim. But they say that with every problem comes a seed of an equal or op or, or greater solution kind of thing. So it's like a big problem. You can find a solution of that same magnitude or even better. So it's like, man, what solution can we find here? I was kind of thinking in that frame of thinking. It's like, dude, we can plan out May. We can plan out the rest of quarter two. We can plan out 
exactly how we want to make the move to Austin. We can do so many more cool things if we do it the right way. So understand that everything that you want to do, man, it, sometimes it, it'll, your blessings will come and sometimes mass is real issues, so. Here's the thing, man, is I'm becoming more and more successful. And again, I'm still kind of like broke compared to most people, right? But I'm, I'm making six figures, right? Nothing was fucking handed to me, bro. Like, I came from the fucking dirt with this entrepreneur stuff. So when it comes down to me missing flights and it's like, I don't want to get a room because it's like, it's a pain. I have no issue sleeping on the floor. I have no issue sleeping on the floor. I forget my razor. I have no issue not shaving. Like, I'm a tough motherfucker. I ran into this chick earlier, talking to her. She was spinning some game. And I was spinning some game. I told her I was staying here. She's like, you don't get a room? I don't want to. Bill's character. I'm like, I Here's like the thing, man. I have no issue being like this. I feel completely happy, completely content. Because I'm a tough motherfucker. I'm going to do this even with a million dollars, even with a hundred million dollars. Like, this is just what I do. This is who I am. I'm tough. I don't need the fancy stuff. I don't need any of these things. I got it on my own. So this is the new camera that I was telling you about earlier that I ended up ordering. Uh, coincidentally, I'm wearing the same shirt, so man, absolutely insane stuff, right? But thank you all for watching this vlog, man. It took me about a week to uh, to get back to it on my camera. We've been doing a ton of cool little things, and I just want to let you all know that this YouTube channel is going to be where we're putting out all of our best content moving forward. So just make sure that you're in tune with it. If you've been following me on Instagram for over the last couple of years, I want to thank you for all the support. Genuinely, uh, I know that I've been asking a lot of people regarding like, hey, go here and then check out the TikTok and check out all this and then do this and I totally understand that and thank you all for uh, being patient with me. You know, YouTube is always something that I really, really wanted to do deep down inside and I kept trying every other <laughs> platform and vehicle before. So I think a little bit out of uh, just some resistance, you know, I think sometimes when you know how bright your light is, it's like, do I really want to go all in with this? And uh, the answer is yes, right? So now we're going to keep on pumping out content. Here's going to be the new schedule moving forward. So this is what we're going to be aiming to do, right? Uh, obviously, it's a little bit later on Monday, but I'm going to do my best to get it out tonight. But the way it's going to work is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is going to be fitness content. Tuesday and Thursday is going to be the Get Your Shit Together Man podcast. And we're going to be adding some video to it. So we're going to be using this camera right here to add some video to the podcast. Because, I look, man, I know I sound great, but I look great too. So we're going to try to get the best of both worlds in there for you. And uh, we're just going to be pumping out a ton of stuff except some shorts. We're going to be posting TikToks to YouTube and the whole nine. So thank you all for the support. Thank you all for listening. And again, if you want to find out more information to see if or how we're, or what is that? I said listening, that's how you can tell I was doing podcasts before the YouTube, right? Thank you all for watching. And, and again, if you want to find out more information to see if or how you qualify to work one-on-one -on -one with the Basics team, please visit www.basicsbrigade.com. Or if you want to speak with me directly for now, I don't know how it's going to be in the future, but you know what I mean? Use the second link that you see in the description of this YouTube video. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the support. And again, if no one's told you in a minute, I will tell you right now, it's time to get your shit together, man. See ya.